Local food before global food. The USDA defines a farmer's market as a multi-stone market at which farmer producers sell agricultural products directly to the general, pu general public at a central or fixed location, particularly fresh fruits and vegetables, but also meat products, dairy products, and or grains. As the world has become more globalized, we have begun to rely on other countries for various things and they rely upon us. We call this international interdependence. Food systems, specifically agriculture, have become a globalized industry where many countries are growing each other's food and local food systems are less common. Many monocultures, which are single crop farms, supply produce for a large part of the world and transport these goods um, many, many miles to reach the consumer. The issue. Globalized food systems are risky because we have to rely on markets across the world to supply our necessary nutrients to us. Uh, we have fewer backup food producers and we have a strained environmental our resources by increasing our consumption. Now the average American meal travels over 1,500 miles from production to consumption. That's very far. About 60% of apple juice sold in the United States comes from China, although America has the best climate for apple production. And nearly half of the tomatoes sold in the U.S. are imported from China as well. 12% of the EU's food chain emissions come from the transportation of goods and about one eighth, percent, one eighth of their food chain emissions come from the refrigeration of goods because food travels so many miles and it needs to be refrigerated during this time. So past and present. Farmers markets uh, are said to have originated in Egypt about 5,000 years ago. And as technology advanced, we were able to store food for longer and transport them faster. So uh, food production grew further and further away from the city center. Um, the first farmer's market was in the, US, in the U.S. was in Boston in 1634. In 2019, there were 8,000 farmer's markets in the United States, but there are only 26 year-round farmer's markets, which really is not very many. Farmers markets have grown in popularity since 1994 to 2008, but the number of markets has increased. The number of markets has increased by 3,000 percent, but there is a lot of room for growth since we only have about 26 year-round farmers markets. By allowing food to travel further, we are able to eat foods grown on other side of the world, and our diet has become more diverse with less seasonal and native foods. Um, globalization has people buying exotic foods like matcha and also foods have become a status symbol and the further your food comes from like the more difficult it is to get it and the cooler it is. Current events, Russia and Ukraine together produce about one fourth of the world's wheat, which um, has led to a shortage in wheat overall and has led to increase in prices. We've kind of seen the same thing with COVID-19 where production and shipping wasn't able to keep up with the demand for food. And so because of these slower shipping times, um, that created a strain on our prices as well and our um, supply. So the Santa Fe Farmer's Market, their mission statement is the Santa Fe's Farmer's Market purpose is to support agriculture in Northern New Mexico by connecting community and agriculture producers through commerce. We envision a robust farmer's market that ensures a thriving, resilient agriculture community in northern New Mexico. The Santa Fe Farmer's Market is a great example of a great farmer's market. They have an indoor year-round farmer's market. In the summer, they have it twice, a, two times a week. Um, this farmer's market is particularly good because they have very strict regulations for their vendors. There's no reselling. Everything is very local. Like here shown on the map, everything in green is usually where their products come from and everything is produced by the vend vendor themselves. It's a very busy market with an established clientele, which allows for the vendors to make a lot of money. Um, and about 50% of the vendors are women-owned businesses. So here's a couple quotes from some three different interviews I did in the Santa Fe area, two of them being from uh, vendors at the market and then one of them a restaurant uh, owner in Santa Fe. So actions, I encourage people to go to their local farmers markets, dip your feet in the water and get connected to where your food comes from 
encourage states and cities to support local farmers markets and invest in the infrastructure to allow farmers markets year to be year round and make more spaces for farmers markets. Um, instead of the government subsidizing big agriculture, we should subsidize small farms and encourage their produce to be served in schools nearby rather than importing it. I also think that already established busy markets should increase the regulations for incoming vendors to encourage ethical and sustainable farming practices and business practices. Sustainability. This is a big benefits with local agriculture with sustainability. First of all, we're more resilient. By having food grown and produced close to where we live, we do not have to rely on other countries and risk food insecurity, like in the cases of the Russia and Ukraine conflict or with uh, COVID-19 shutdowns. By diversifying where our food is grown and ensuring local markets, we are also at lower risk of inse food insecurity in the case of environmental disasters like flooding or wildfires, which will likely um, keep happening as um, climate change worsens. By having local control of our food supply, we can have more say over what is done with our food, how it is grown, and who it will go to, and hopefully this will help reduce food insecurity and food deserts. A lot of economic benefits. First of all, local food systems boost the economy and keep money in circulation within the community about three to five times longer than if it, you bought food at a local chain grocery store. Uh, this allows for the money to be reinvested back into the community. Low cost, farmers markets deliver fresh, healthy food straight to the consumer from the producer and this sort of market is great for farmers because it allows them to decrease their costs by not having to have a middleman and this can also in turn reduce costs for the consumer. Farmers markets are anti-capitalist. Farmers markets allow for a guaranteed market, meaning that food producers can sell high quality products at a fair market rate with no exploitation. Capitalism in big agriculture does the opposite of this and exploit consumers by selling low quality products and exploits nature with excessive overconsumption of our resources. Social, lots of social benefits as we're delivering high quality products to people. Um, farmers markets are just a great environment. It's a great place for learning, connecting and having fun and in a healthy and safe space. Food systems, are also great because they connect our producers to our consumers and bring people together. Historically, food has been a great way to foster connection and community and conversation. And when we have a stronger, more connected community, we also have a safer community. Environmental, so many great environmental effects with local food systems. First of all, less for transportation means fewer fossil fuels released. Um, we can use more environmentally friendly practices and control how our food is grown. We can also encourage growing native seasonal food, which leads to less strain on the our environmental resources. Because if we're growing the type of plant that doesn't need this much water because it's used to these type of dry conditions, then we're not using as much water as we would if we weren't growing a plant that was used to these types of environmental con conditions. There's a lot of environmental opportunity as well with local food systems because monocultures um, and increased transportation are not great for the environment because they use bad farming practices. When we use small scale farming practices, we can use no-till or low-till practices, which can um, help with carbon sequestration and help us become more carbon neutral and even reduce the carbon in the atmosphere. Some challenges. First of all, inclus inclusivity. Farmers do not, who do not meet the market spec specifications have less of an opportunity in this market. There's also kind of a stigma behind farmers markets and the idea that uh, they tend to be kind of political. Cheaper food. Globalized food systems do allow for cheaper food because we can pay laborers less in other countries and we have less environmental regulations that we have to work around. Um, until small farm scale farming becomes the norm, farmers markets will um, likely remain higher in prices than big agriculture. Um, the globalization of our food system has also allowed for specialization elsewhere. If the majority of our population was still farming, we probably wouldn't have an iPhone. Um, 
Globalized food systems also do help with food security because geographic re regions where it's hard to grow food, they can have food imported. Um, globalized food systems are also good for uh, political relationships and stability because um, we can keep the peace through business relationships and trade. Um, globalized food systems also make sanctions stronger because nations depend on one another for their food. In conclusion, by encouraging and supporting local farmers and creating markets where they can deliver high quality, fresh, healthy products to consumers, we can foster a better community, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, support innovative, sustainable agriculture, create a healthy environment, invest in our local communities, and increase the food security and food sovereignty. There are a lot of, there's a lot of room to improve agriculture practices and to create a healthier ecosystem but we must start by supporting small farmers. And the best way to do this is to give them a guaranteed market through these types of farmers markets. Here are a couple additional resources to further your learning. And here are my sources. Thank you.